Everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Things look a little less sunny today. And probably rightly so. What happened last time was not fun times. Minecraft home. Got our furnace. Got a workbench. Got a torch. Got a bed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Celeste at last. This at last. You finally woken up? I, how long was I asleep? Almost exactly a full year. I was beginning to worry that I wouldn't be able to save you. For a whole year? Sid, you brought me here and took care of me during that time? Yes, but I'm starting to have troubles. We're on a small and uninhabited island. After the world was torn asunder, I woke up here and found that we'd been thrown onto this island. Torn asunder. So it wasn't just a dream. What about the others? What about Locke? Don't know. We're the only ones on this island. That's as previously implied. For all I know, this island is all that's left of our world. The world is getting worse every day. There were others on this island when I came to, but they're all dead now. One died quickly, another went mad and killed himself. Another died of sorrow, one drowned himself, and the last one jumped off the cliff at the North Cape. Everybody, they're probably all dead. Celeste, don't lose hope. You're the closest thing I have to family in this world. We can just live out our lives quietly here together. Yes, you're right, Sid. Or rather, Grandfather. Do you mind me calling you that? Grandfather? Uh, I guess I have a granddaughter now then. Cough, cough. <laughs> oh, grandfather. Ha ah, ha, cough, cough. Grandpa, can I get you anything? Well, I haven't eaten anything in three days. What would you like to eat? If I don't ask for fish, I'm not going to get anything. So I guess that will do. I'll go catch some. Shove. Okay, let's eat. Quip. Let's do... Dash shoes, and what the hell, a repelling bracelet. Now you have learned all the magic. Just double checking. Okay. What is your lowest stat? Vitality is pretty low. Strength, speed, vitality, and magic, I think, are the only things that the espers will um, increase other than max HP and max MP. So I want to get her vitality raised. And Gollum just happens to be pretty good at that. For every level up, Gollum gives you an extra two to your vitality. Now we need to catch some fish. Let's take a look at this fish here. This was a pretty quick fish. A great fish. Let's take a look at this fish and that fish. A good fish. A fair fish. That is probably a dead fish. You can tell by how it doesn't move. <laughs> um, we need to... What are you doing, old man? So, this is kind of like a point system. We'll say Sid starts out at zero, right? For every great fish, his points go up... We'll call it two. For a good fish, his points go up one. For a fair fish, they don't change. For a poor fish, they'll drop one. And I'm, I'm guessing there's going to be a rotten fish. 
It's going to drop two points. We need to get his points up. Thank you, much, much, much. <laughs> I'm not healing very fast. <laughs> he takes all of our fish. So we can assume that he got three points for those fish. Because we had a good and a fair. Or great and a f great and a good. This one is a great fish. So if my system is correct, this will give him another two points. Fishy, fishy, fishy. This is the kind of soundtrack you would uh, put on when you can't sleep. Slowly getting better. So let's see, that should be seven points now. We'll call it seven. Take these two. And what the heck, we'll take that one if he comes over here. God damn it, fish. <coughs> Come on, fishy fish. All right, what do we got? Keep pushing start to bring up the menu. So this should be plus two, plus three. No change, so we'll say this will give him ten points. I don't know what points he starts out with. But what do you keep doing, buddy? I'm sorry. I shouldn't say... I shouldn't pretend that I don't know what's going on. Because it bothers me when I see other people do that in their Let's Plays. It's like, here I am, giving you the mechanics of the fish system. But I have no idea what's going on with Sid, right? So this should be plus two, which will give him 12 points. Again, if my system is correct, this is 12 points. Thank you for everything you've done. <clears throat> and he dies. Now, if there's no fish, or if there's only one fish, you actually need to give it to him anyway. Well, because no other fish will spawn if there's just a single fish, from what I've noticed. Okay, so fair fish did not help. Fair fish was bad. So maybe great is plus, good is no change, fair is little change. Little change the bad way. So we'll say great is one, good is zero, fair is minus one. I want that great fish. And we'll see how the message changes with this one. Because he's had two fair fish. I should be writing this stuff down. Let's see if talking to him will reset the fish. Yeah, a little bit. Nothing great there, though. That's the one I want. me those two. We can actually let Sid die, and it changes the story a little bit. But not much. And I'd rather not, you know. I'm a good guy. I mean, he fed me for a year and drove five other people to kill themselves. I mean, you know. Kind of ungrateful grandchild would I be if I didn't at least attempt to save him? So a body of mine can't hold on much longer. Now that is there to trick you. That is there to say, oh, you're not doing a good job. Ignore it. 
He's a crazy old man. <clears throat> Great, fair, and good. <coughs> Excuse me. See, I've recovered completely. I can just tell. My pip boy tells me so. What is it? The result of my many restless nights here is below. Go check it out. I've invented television. Grandfather. Celeste, you need to see what's left of the world. Your friends have to still be alive. Somewhere out there. I know, I'll go then. But I will come back here someday. I'll bring everybody with me. And lock too. Nod. Yeah. I like, I like that. Someday, when I've found all my friends, we'll come back and visit. We're just gonna leave you here. All alone, on a little island. God knows where. Nothing but fish to eat. Could have caught that bird. That bird didn't seem too excited about getting away from me. But no. It has to be fish. Fish, fish, nothing but fish. Pardon me while I crack my knuckles. I remember, viewers, when Metroid Quest was working on Eternal Crystals, and he redesigned this map a bit, and I was play-testing through it. Might have even been in the Let's Play now to think about it. And I got to this point, and I couldn't leave where the raft dropped me off. The map was not quite allowing the, for that. So we have a Lunar Dog and a Ruck. And now we just have a Lunar Dog. Sounds like something you would get at, like, Astro Burger. A lunar dog and some space buds and, uh, something else. No mas lunar doggy. Lunar lobo? That's, uh, what's a Spanish from moon? I don't know. Could be lunar. Let's see what's going on here. Town of Alberg. Tower's one hell of a sight. Uh, Sefke has locked himself in his tower with the power of the three gods of battle. He's a living god now. He's sexy and he knows it. Making money's all but impossible. The day that the world was torn asunder, all the debris from the world was sucked into the center of this continent. The debris formed a tower. That's Sefke's tower. Ugh, God. Flashback. Look, I don't care. So happy. Same life never comes twice. Unless... No, you're right, it doesn't. Did I get this? I did. Relics. Things have changed a bit in the world, viewers. We have things that are going to do zombifying stuff to us, and that's bad news. We don't want the zombie. It's icky. So we want to try and avoid getting the zombie. So ribbons are nice. Um, amulets protect against zombie. There's the tower. We cannot enter the tower, so we're not even going to try. But this looks like we are on the continent that used to be the Empire. Fafnir. I know that name from somewhere else. Where do I know that name from, viewers? Tell me. I must know. Xenogears? I want to say. Could be wrong. I have not played that game completely through yet. Town of Tsen. Valak called serpent trenches no longer submerged below the sea. Now it's a sea level. A group of Sefke fanatics have built a tower there. They spend all day there. Oh my goodness. Laser beams. 
or something. But yep, that house is gonna collapse any minute. We opposed safe gay, so he's the light of judgment on that house. There are monsters in the house. They've been petrifying everybody that goes in. We need accessories. Someone must have opposed Seifke. My son is in there. Please help him. Mash. Ursulus. Let's help out. Wait. If I move, this entire house will collapse. First, save the boys inside. I can't hold this up. It's over, so... Would you mind hurrying? Okay, we got six minutes. We have the repelling bracelet and the dash shoes. That should help. And I'm just going to try and run. The Death Thorn. Kind of drop a save right there. I'm going to pick up all the treasures I can. Uh oh. Monstars! Night Walks. Okay. I think. You don't know Fyra. Uh oh. Oh wait, there it is. Keep forgetting, it's three rows now. It's like, but you know every spell. Why don't you know it? Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Oh, that was interesting. Just money in there. Grab that. The blood sword. We want that. Monster inside this one. Whoa, that's weird. The game is upset with me for having a preemptive attack. That's just weird. More money. Not that I need the money, but the experience is nice. I'm so scared. You're right now. Come on. Yay! Magirock Fragment. We could not enter this house in the previous world, the World of Balance, as it is now called the World of Ruin. Run, run, run. This actually took me a couple of tries uh, when I first got the game, because I was so hell-bent on getting all the treasure chests, and I didn't have the, uh... What was it called? Charm Bangle, I think? I don't remember what its name was in the original, did I? Yeah, okay, we're good. We got everything, we got the kid, we got four minutes to spare. Ooh, I want to kill these. Damn it! Completely destroyed. Okay, let's try it again. There we go. I might want to, um, pick up their skills there. It's about time. I was holding this house up for God knows three minutes. You're alive. Where's your beard? You're supposed to have one now. Naturally. Even should I fall into the deepest crevasse, I'll always have the strength to climb back out. See? Flexing. I was so sure that everybody was dead. I had given up all hope. But now... Now I know I was wrong. There may be others still alive. We'll look for everybody and... Yep, we'll bring Sifke down and return peace to the entire world. Yeah. Let's cut to a montage. I mean, fade out so everybody can get back to their business. Alright, let's equip Mash here. We're gonna get the Genji Glove and... Oh, let's give you the... Hyperist. Now, we have that Dark Claw thing, which I don't particularly want to be using because... Give you a tiger mask. Um, a lot of the new overworld enemies um, 
like poison. Yes, that's bad news for me. Well, bad news for anybody with an art claw. So we're gonna buy a Kaiser knuckle. Oh no, we'll buy another burning knuckle. That's even more better. There are a few things who like fire, but this will work. We'll keep that Kaiser knuckle around just in case. All right, shopping complete. Now, if we had not bought Seraphim from the dude in the world of balance, we could buy it from this guy for like 30 gil instead of 3,000 or whatever it was. There's your amulets, prevents poison, dark, zombie, and darkness, jewel ring, petrification, fusion of berserk, back attacks and pincer attacks are avoided, thief bangle, successful way to steal. Not too concerned about any of that. Got plenty of accessories. So now we have a choice. Do we go north, almost like directly north, or do I go northeast and do something that isn't really going to make a whole lot of difference at this point in my life? So we're not going to do that. We'll do that one later. This episode and the next one are probably going to be a little bit longer than normal. Mostly because we've got a lot of walking to do in this one, and then there's a long dungeony kind of sequence at the next one. As soon as we cross this bridge, we run into scorpions. Oh no. Ragnat's got that. Don't know if anyone else did. Ragnat's got that. He's probably not even watching this. Deserts are still bad news. Bad things usually, well, not usually. Bad things still live in deserts. Like this guy. This guy is a jerk. Let's see if we can kill him quickly. That's why fire claws are nice. The zombie dragon things generally are pretty tough. Cause a lot of damage, have a lot of health. You know, like zombies in most things usually do. I was trying to have him use magic. So, he got to be careful. And the rewards aren't generally that great. There's the Fanatics Tower. Can't get in there yet. It's Delta Beats. I'd love me some Delta Beats. I think, I think you might absorb the fire. Let's find out. Nope. You're just ugly. And there's a big difference between being fond of fire and being, well, I shouldn't say that. May not always be the case, viewers. No attractive people are pyromaniacs, right? At least not until the first fire. It gets a little out of hand. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'll take it. Celeste leveled up. So let's take a look at her stats now. Vitality. Right up, so let's up her. Since I'm gonna have so few magic users, that's gonna be what I'm working on with their level ups for the most part. Magic, max MP, things like that. Not gonna be too concerned with vitality for Celeste. She's gonna get some armor later that's just gonna make, make her amazing. And of course, we're just outside of town and we have to fight. 
vampire thorns and lizards. These lizards, by the way, if you did not know, pretty much directly... Well, not pretty much. They are directly based on the lizards from the first Final Fantasy game that you would fight relatively early on that were just pains in the neck. The vampire thorn things there, incredibly high defense, but very low health. You probably noticed when we hit them for double digit damage, but they still died with less than 30 hit points being taken from them. Why am I telling you this? Because the episode is almost over, and I don't want to get anything big and important. So we're going to use a tent, we're going to save the game, and then I will see you guys next time. And I will say thank you, and I will say carry on. Everyone, welcome back.